Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, we're at uh, assembly step seven, and in this, you're gonna need uh, four of these like on rod end cap deals, he'll rod end caps, and uh, you got a package that's got rods in it, and I'll show you which ones you need out of that. You're gonna need uh, four for the um, M318s uh, screws, and then uh, for the nuts, M3s. And you're gonna need uh, for those rail, I think they're called like linear rail, linear bearings, I guess they call them, for those. Okay, on the rods, um, just gonna come over, take them out of the plastic. And there's gonna be two long ones, you can set those aside. And then uh, four short ones, and we only need two of those. Okay, I've turned the printer around to the back side, and uh, I've already put one of the little stop covers. They just go over right next to those holes there, and I haven't put that one yet in yet. Um, that's the, the hole it covers up, and that's where the screw goes through, and I'll show you how to install that. I'm just going to grab one of these uh, covers right there. Let me just put the nut on the other side. I'm just putting them on just tight enough to where. Uh, They'll hang there because uh, you'll see why in a few minutes here. Okay, now we're going to take these rods, slide them through this front hole here, and uh, put two linear bearings on it. And then run it to the back. I'm just going to swing that cover up now. Put that screw in here. All I did is tighten that flap down and we're done with this one. So I'll go ahead and uh, Put this front one on. That short up camera. Yeah. Alright, that's all there is to that. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, I just uh, put those rods in and put those uh, little swing out end cap things in the in their place there and tighten them down. Now here's something kind of interesting. Uh, if you take these rods, you can slide them forward and backwards. And so you can take up the slack by tightening uh, those uh, nuts down there. So, you know, you'd like loosen this one a little bit and then tighten this one down. So I'm going to try to put, oops, I don't know, loosen up this one and then tighten this one back. That'll essentially bring this front pipe back. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start in the back, back in, behind the printer on that rod. And remember I was saying I like to have three threads. So I'm going to put three threads in the back on both sides there and then I'm just going to tighten these down until I get rid of that slack so you don't want these rods being able to slide back and forth and they can slide quite a bit so that'll get you your distance on your uh, on uh, how far that front plate should be back okay I kind of did this side you actually get quite a bit of thread to take up the slack it's about like that on both ends and uh, you don't want to you want to kind of do them together 
like you don't want to tighten up this one really tight because when you tighten this one up it's going to expand out that one so you want to kind of try to bring them in fairly together and I figured I'd let you see what I'm doing on this right rail um, what you want to do is loosen up these screws here back these all off nice and far this one too and then start bringing in the these end ones and you can kind of feel as you take up the slack there you don't want to get it too tight but there should be no more play in there and theoretically that should make these uh, straight in line and I was kind of concerned about that and so then after you get them about where you need to be then you tighten these up now they gave you a wrench in the kit there and you can use this wrench to just and not go crazy on it just you know snug everything up and so all I'm going to do is tighten up all the nuts now um, and with this wrench just kind of give it a little make sure it's snug um, and then you'll be done with this all right. step. All I did is went around with that wrench and tightened up uh, the nuts on uh, all those threaded rods there. And then see how I turn these linear bearings? You want the uh, relatively flat side up and the that side kind of like the half circle side there. You want that down. And with that, you should be done with step seven.